Hello, hello, good evening. It is Nemi Batstone here with Nemi's Crafty Cafe coming live to you from um, Cooks Creek, Manitoba. I just live 20 minutes outside of Winnipeg, Manitoba. So thank you for joining me here for another Twisty Thursday. It is September 7th, 2023, and I just realized I forgot to, to set up my Facebook page. So while we wait till everyone hops on, let me get that going here. Um, I can't believe it is the end of the week already. And I hope, if for those of you who have kids, you've been sending them off back to school. We are now back to reality, right? Back to doing things the way we normally do. Summer is over. Sorry, I was just trying to see behind my screen here to make sure I'm good. And I believe I am. So I'm just going to make sure I can see sure comments. And I can. Hello, Christine. Thank you for joining me this evening. So um, today I just um, wanted to share. If you notice, my title is part one of two because um, Seven Up is doing a promotion this month. Um, crafting for a cause and they are donating four dollars to the Salvation Army for every um, pack of a walk in the forest designer series paper um, that is being sold so I'm really excited about that I like that I like it when there's um, a purpose and a good benefit and value um, against some products which we all love to use. I mean, we're always gifting, we're always sharing, and we're always in creating and inspiring. So it's really exciting that we can do that. So the other day, <laughs> I when I bought the new designer series paper, the new, have you seen the new stuff? Sidebar on the online exclusive. Um, all the new designer series paper that came out, I decided to throw in two extra packs so that I can donate $8 towards the cause. So yeah, so we're gonna play with that. So I'm gonna do, I thought, oh, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, what can I do with it? And I thought I would do a two part series. So um, this week would be part one, which is the um, uh, uh, doing it in a fall theme. And then I thought I'd do a part two next Thursday, which would then show it in a Christmas theme. So, oh, fantastic, Christine, that's awesome. That's great news, it's so cute. And it just so happens to coordinate fantastically well with the uh, very cute um, suite. So yeah, so why don't we just get started and jump into it, because I don't know if I'll have time to make three designs today or um, make them all, but uh, I'm hoping so. But if not, we'll definitely get two done, and the third one is quite simple, and. I'm not too sure if I'm a fan of it either. So I would love your opinion and um, obviously, you know, your comments and how we can, you know, step it up a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna flip you and get started. Okay, so now we're on my desktop here. Um, okay, Ooh, almost lost the issue there. Oh, now it's saying I have low connectivity. So hopefully, things um work out okay okay there we go i'll move this out of the way because we don't need that okay i'm kind of what did i do to myself here i made a little like block myself in <laughs> oh my desk is straight but my camera isn't i don't think okay so i'll just bring this down a bit more so we got a better view and we can work that way excellent okay so hi gail thanks for joining are you at home or at the cottage so um i love it when everybody can uh still join live or catch the replay later or shares because that's what it's you know all about and regardless where you are that's the fun thing that we can still engage together okay i just wanted to let you all know just a reminder we are closed, however, if you comment or message me, we have two spots left in our Demonstrator Academy. We actually have 18 people coming. So that's a big, huge step for 
for me. <laughs> and um, especially since it's local and it's something new we're trying. So I hope it turns out great. But we're at 18 and we said we would cap at 20. So 20 would be ideal. So we do have room for two more. Hello, Janice. How are you? Hope you're at home enjoying a glass of wine and sitting comfortably or maybe crafting. And hi, Marie. Creative Escape, we have room for three. So if you are interested or if you have any friends, we still have three tables left and um, everybody will get a full table each. So we currently have 21. I have room for 24 if everyone takes a full table. So if you know of anybody, just comment below, um, tell them about the event, share this video. You get eight feet of table space. You get like a, you get a $50 um, welcome kit. Plus you get to use all my supplies, all my inks, dyes, stamps, um, blends, whichever. Plus I'm um, sharing, we have amazing food as well. Um, we're gonna have a turkey dinner this year on Saturday, um, as since it's the month of gratitude and so close to Thanksgiving. And none of us have to cook it, which is a bonus. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we have lots of fun planned. We play bingo. Um, we have challenges. Uh, I made, I put some cool stuff in there. No, I won't be doing any, um, what was it? Scavenger hunt. That was crazy last time. So <laughs> although it was entertaining, you must admit, right? Everybody gets so competitive in a scavenger hunt. It's quite funny. Um, that's supposed to say September, not August. So I forgot to print it out in the mayhem and craziness of today. And I also didn't put a sheet underneath here, but maybe we will be okay. We'll see. So it's been... ...in getting it. Just comment below um, that and just say DSP, yeah. And every four and four dollars from the order, so that's 17 the four dollars will then um, be donated to Salvation Army in support of um, the fundraising or campaign that Stampin' Up! is doing. So you can see it's very Christmassy, but as always, I like to twist things up and show you how you can do them alternatively for other things. So I did put a few cards together and then realize I didn't use all the designer series paper. What was I thinking? And I also threw in a couple of the beautiful shiny copper sheets that are also in the new catalog. So as most of you heard, we just launched our new fall and winter catalog yesterday. And yes, there are a few things on back order already. But, you know, if you don't want to lose out or miss out on anything, you could always become a demonstrator which then gives you a 20% discount and as well as the opportunity to order anything in advance. So that's the bonus. Um, and why I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is because I like to know things. I don't like to be kept out of the dark or, you know, I, I don't like, I need to know now. And then I like to pre-order in advance. So, and that's the bonus of it. Does the money collected? Oh, that's a good point. I was thinking the exact same thing. Um, I didn't have time to phone head office and double check, but I would assume that it goes to the Canadian at the Canadian level, just cause it's all across Canada. But, um, it is a very good question and it's a question that I'll double check with head office and I'll comment back in here after. So thanks for the question, Christine. So it is, Oh, look, I can actually. Coordinating with it is Balmy Blue, Cherry, Cobbler, Garden Green, Pretty Peacock, Old Olive, and Pecan Pot. So um, it's handier than I'm not constantly flipping through the catalog and going, oh, what's the matches again? So I'm just keeping that handy so we know. Okay. And also, if you have a minimum order of $65 with me, um, I'm hoping to get this in time for next week. But this is the Joy To You stamp set that you'll be entered in for a draw and you will be entered in to win that um, stamp set. And here's what we're playing with. So the autumn leaves, we showcased that last week. 
And the reason why I'm also sharing it is because it's one of my favorites in the new mini catalog. But not only that, it is one of the stamp sets that the designers are creating with for next um, for the retreat at the end of the month. So these are the gorgeous stamps or dies. And what I really love about it is it actually comes with three sentiment tags, which is not normal. And um, these beautiful intricate pieces, which we're going to play with. And these funky kind of braille like dotted lines. So I'll show you how to create with that. And these are like the veins that go inside the leaves, which is pretty cool. And then it comes with a lot of beautiful font and small pieces that obviously fit right into this little guy. Um, sentiments that go in there. And it is a polymer stamp set, so it's very well used. And it is $76.50 for the entire bundle if you choose to buy it. So then you automatically get entered into my draw. Um, it has some matching ribbon, which we're going to play with as well. So these are the two ribbons. This beautiful copper-like ribbon. Um, it is absolutely stunning. And then we also have um, this as well. And it has a thicker, like a crumb cake with a darker color along the edge that you can easily tie with and we'll play with that as well for one, two of the cards. Now the um, paper and the embellishments are currently on back order, but that's okay because we're going to use alternatives and as well as whatever we have in our stock. Okay, dokly. So let's get started. So we have a couple simple cards. Well, they're all really simple. I wanted to make them pretty basic, but then you can always step them up. So we can work with that and play with a little bit of step up and go from there. Okay, so let's start. She created these little um, template sizes. So I use this to figure out what size of rectangle I should use to stagger because I didn't want to lose um, any pattern or coloring from the outside of this uh, base, card base. Um, if each of my team members received this, I think I gave this as a gift to each one of them. It was a lot of cutting. So a lot of cutting, a lot of labeling, a lot of prepping, but they're so worth it. I always love giving gifts to my team that they may need. Um, tools, accessories, things like that, that they like to get. So if you ever think of becoming a demonstrator and you love to craft as much as we do, you're more than welcome to join my team. But I did use, because I couldn't remember which size, but I think I used label number, layer number nine. Nope. I used layer 11. So I called them layers. Yep. Yeah. Layer 11, which is four and an eighth by two and seven eighths. So we'll cut up a couple of those right now and get this card going. So we have our card base, which I just used crushed curry. You can use whatever color combos that you actually want, but I really wanted to get that cherry cobbler in there. And um, then I used pretty peacock. So then I just needed a contrasting color to go along with. And I just thought cherry um crushed curry. So if you have any other suggestions on what other color combos we can do with cherry cobbler, please add it in the comments because I'm always looking and trying to figure that part out and it would be fun to try a different card with different colors. Um, same design, just different colors. Okay, so that's our card base and then we need our strip of designer series paper which I have pre-cut partially. And then all we need is two and seven eighths. So I'll just move that up there, move that so we don't lose it. And I'll just cut to two and seven eighths. So there we go. And then this piece I'll just put aside for another card. Oh, I forgot, we need basic white. Forgot that. Um, I had one piece prepped, but now I can't find it. So, four and one eighth, so it's almost four and a quarter, so I don't wanna waste my paper. So I'm gonna cut it along this top to four and one eighth. 
Or we could use vellum. Oh, no, we can't really use vellum. Um, and then four and one eighths. And then what was the other dimension? Oh, yeah. Two and seven eighths. I'm like, what was it? There we go. Seven eighths. Yep. Yeah. Six. Yep. Yeah. That's it. I'm like, what? I all of a sudden couldn't read my, uh, my board, my paper trimmer. Okay. So those are our two pieces. And then we need a piece of that ribbon. So this ribbon, all I did was pretty much just measured it against the width. So you need just under four inches. And so we'll just cut that down because we want a little bit there. And then I thought, you know what would be fun would be to show you how you can kind of step this card up a bit. So you can leave your card base as is, or what we could do is also emboss it. So I was thinking we either emboss it with more leaves or we could emboss it with the brick um, 3D. What do you think? Or we could also do, there's another one. What's the other one? Um, we can also um, do the ferns. I forgot that. So while I fray this, so the nice thing about this stuff is it frays really, really well. So you could just cut this off. So while I'm fraying this, maybe whoever comments first, as to whether we use the Fern 3D, um, exposed brick. This is where I probably should have had it <laughs> all um, already like sampled size. Cause you gotta know your prop, your Stampin' Up products to know which one or the um, Leaf 3D embossing folder. So those are our three options. Do tell me, and then we'll we'll step it up a bit. So all I'm doing is pulling on the end here and just getting rid of a few of the threads. Now they're gonna be a little too short to keep, so they're gonna just get dumped into the garbage. And the nice thing is you can fray it as much as you want. It's really up to you how thick you want that and how messy you want that. So I'm just gonna see if I can pull off another one or two there, yeah. I think that'll be plenty for me. And then that'll go there. So exposed brick. Okay, exposed brick it is. So that is the first comment. And that is what we'll go with. So I'm just, just going to raise this up a bit so I can get my... Got to get the big boss in. So... What we're gonna do is just add a little bit more to it here. And I'm just gonna go up to the line. So our, our um, what do you call it? The, okay. I'm just gonna run that through once. And of course we're using the recommended plates according to the, why, but I keep getting the low say see you off. And there you go. So now we have that beautiful, Lots of good stuff and fun stuff we can do there. So there's our pieces there. And we got something on that. So we'll just flip that over. Now we need to get our um, stamping done. So, here it is. One, and then we need the other big leaf one there you go those two so i'm just going to grab a couple blocks and put one on each because i know i'll just make a mistake now this one is really big and hard to get on the entire block so sometimes i prefer to use the um, g block the nice big one if i can't fit it all in there Okay, and we're going to stamp on, stamp off, which is why I needed a grid sheet. So I'm just going to grab one real quickly here. And I'll just fold it in half. And my 
paper base here, or my desk base here, is already kind of spongy, so I don't need my piercing mat. And we're just gonna stamp on and stamp off, right? So, get that on there. And I don't care if it's not perfect because the stamp's not meant to be perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing with Pretty Peacock. Ooh, nice and juicy. Stamp off and stamp on. Just make sure you have enough space to put your two dies together. So here, you can also step it up. If you don't want to do it on the white, you can also do it on coordinating colored cardstock. So here, I did a pre-stamp on Crush Curry on Crush Curry and Pretty Peacock on Pretty Peacock. So I got another question for you. Do we use the um, colored cardstock or white cardstock? And here's my, I already pre-cut my cherry cobbler. So I'm just gonna add a little color along the edges cause I felt that's another thing you can do. So while I do that, I'll wait for you to respond as to whether or not we should use colored cardstock or basic white cardstock. That's not red. <laughs> okay, so I have my mini emboss or uh, mini blending brush, and I'm just gonna grab some cherry cobbler ink, which my arm's in your way because I gotta reach for it. There we go. And so whoever responds first is what we will do, or at least my screen will tell me. So we're gonna add a little bit on there, and I'm just gonna texture that up a bit, just to give it a little more um, dimension. So this is another way we can step it up. I know there's a huge delay. Okay, Christine says try with basic white. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now it's got just a little bit of darkness along the edges. So you could, if you don't have a blending brush, you could just use a sponge or the daubers, um, you know, those, or again, a sponge to just get that edging done. Okay, push that in before it falls everywhere. So we're just gonna die cut these out. Move that out of the way. Move my inks out of the way. I'm gonna clean these up on my chamois and put these away before I get it all over myself. Or I drop them and lose them, because we're gonna need them again anyways. But let's just get that out of the way for now. Okay, so we're gonna need the embossing cut machine again. And I'm probably too low. So I'm gonna raise this up a bit again. Excellent. And get this into the machine. So again, we've got these dies. And you know what? Since I'm here, we can step it up a bit as well. Again, if you wanted to. Make sure I got my right layers on here. We'll add this here, and I'm gonna use some removable tape just to be safe. Because it does move around quite a bit. Oh, sometimes this thing is so hard to get started. I'm gonna get my other one. Which was here somewhere. Now I cannot find it. I'll just use, where did the other set, oh, I'll just use this. I have some masking tape here that I can use instead. Okay, because sometimes it just gets, takes a while to get that thing going. Okay, so put that on like so, just to hold it in place because I don't want it to move. And then we'll step it up again, because you know, we can. 
This is probably why I said I can't get three cards. But I want to. Sh I always like to show you as much alternatives as possible. You can always stick to the basic, which is this. And then you can also step it up. And what I mean by step it up is we can add some veins into that, which are these two, using our gold um, designer series paper. So... Let me see, where did I put those pieces? I had them sitting right here. This is what I always do. Okay, so let's cut a piece. So we'll do one, the nice, oh, the big one will be in gold. So we're just gonna cut this off. Now, when I have intricate, really tiny dies like this, this is where you really need to look at pulling out your adhesive sheets. So Stampin' Up! has these amazing adhesive sheets that you can buy and they last you forever. But the nice thing is about them is it turns it into stickers. And when you have, oh, found it sitting right here. Um, it's easier to work with. So of course the print sheets come like this in these big six by 12 lengths, which is a lot. And you can easily just throw it on there as you need it. And then use it and turn it into a nice sticker. How fun is that, right? So you got that one, and then we need this little piece, which is, I always like to go lengthwise because I like the fact that there's a slit there, and every time that that happens, then it makes it a lot easier to remove your, the um, backing without having to use your take your pick tool. Okay, so we'll prep that. So again, this is all sticky, right? So this goes, sticky side goes on the back. Which way did I have it? This way? <laughs> now I forget which way I had it. Yeah, whatever. And this side. Something like that. Okay. So I'm just going to get my yucky scissors and get rid of some of that adhesive and put that on there. Now we'll do the nice big one. Yookoy, yookoy, yep, yep, yep. Get that all on there. My fingers, ow, my fingers are nice and sticky. So the downfall is you know, these things are super sticky. Like, look at that. <laughs> so that's why I always use my glue scissors. So I have two sets of paper snips that I keep. One I literally identify as my glue scissors. So then that way I never mix them up and I don't, and I keep my good ones clean. Okay, <clears throat> we don't want to waste our base on our paper trimmer here, or sorry, our big boss. So we're keeping it all together. Okay, now we're ready to die cut. So run that through the big boss. And then this is gonna step up our cards a bit. Except for that um, cherry cobbler one, but that's okay. <clears throat> Ta-da! Do you believe in magic? Okay. Whew. Got stuck there for a sec. So, now we have this beautiful sticker. Oh, look, it's already wanting to peel off along the back side there. And then the rest, probably just go in the garbage. You could use it if I cut it properly. And there's our second sticker. So I'm just gonna use my take your pick tool 
and pop that out like so. And we're just gonna step up this card just a wee bit by adding these on there. So if you don't, you can obviously use cardstock. You can use whatever, but if you don't want to, you just keep it simple the way I did on my first one. But alternatives are always nice and that's what I like to show you. Okay, so this was masking and you can see in this masking technique there that you're like, oh, look at all that, what is that? So that's from the new stencil set and this masking was for one of the cards I've created for the upcoming retreat at the end of the month, the one I was telling you about. So that's a little hint there that there's going to be a little bit of blending that needs to happen during our retreat to create our designs. Not a bad thing, I don't think. That's just, you know, just saying. I am missing a stencil somewhere. Or a die, sorry, not a stencil. Oh, there it is. This is why I put, um, this is why I trace them, because then I always know when something is missing. Plus, because when we're at retreat, everyone uses my stuff, so then I know where everything is after. <laughs> if we're missing, it's easy for everyone at the retreat to know I'm missing something. Okay, oh, I forgot. We still need to also do the sentiment, and then we're ready to assemble. So, let's grab some more scrap. that just dropped a piece of paper on the floor and where's my pile of white scrap there it is so another piece of scrap and I forgot to die cut that so I should have did that right away so let's do that now again could have probably well it probably would have been tight if I used my embossing cut machine so, sorry, got to lift you up one more time. Just a wee bit this time. And we'll just, I should just use the mini, but that would mean I'd have to go pull that one out too. But I already had this one prepped and ready to go. So we'll just use this. Okay, now we have our sentiment. Okay, now we're good to go. So one more inking, and I used early espresso, which I should have out already, sitting here somewhere. <laughs> Where did my early espresso go? So that's um, what I use. I put it back behind me. No, I put the ink pad somewhere. Oh. I did put it away. Just give me a second here to try and get it out. Don't know why I would have did that. Okay. Or we could use pecan pie. That would be another alternative since pecan pie is the color that matches. So there, pecan pie. Let's try that. Hi, Kathy, no problem. Well, you're always working, that's why. And the store doesn't close till now, right? Till later. Okay, so I used um, Autumn Teaches Us, um, the beautiful, what is it? Autumn Teaches Us that change can be beautiful. That's it. Okay, so here we go. And this card was inspired because my kids asked me, can you make a card for our music teacher? And I'm like, what? Why? Because, so my son just started a new school. Um, my youngest, I should say. And so now they're both in band. And he's playing a different instrument, which his brother's not happy about. He's playing clarinet instead of trumpet or a wind instrument, as Benjamin likes to say. And so... Um, and they found it, so we don't have to rent one, which is nice, because then we have to rent two. At this point, I should have just bought a trumpet, but that's okay. So anyway, they wanted us to um, give her a little gift. So 
so, um, you know, to say thank you and for making your life, you know, easier and saving me, mommy and daddy money. <laughs> Isn't that sweet of them? So I was like, oh, you don't have to rent one. The school has an extra clarinet. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so since we didn't go with the stamping, I thought we'll just stamp the inside here, up and down to give it a little bit more character. So now there, I got my stamping in on the inside, direct stamping. So that is just tone on tone, which is crush curry on crush curry. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Okay. Now, we just need to assemble. So there's our piece, which goes underneath. And there's our another one. So I'm just going to pull that up a bit more at an angle. And like so, I was hoping I could get some of that white coming through, but I guess not. Not gonna happen. Okay, so since we have a little bit of texture, I'm going to use my um, Seal Plus because I need that extra, extra strength on there because of the exposed brick. Drop you down a bit. And we're just gonna go at an angle, nice big angle. And then we're going to add our ribbon. So you could put your ribbon wherever or which layer you want it to be under. And I'm just going to add Seal Plus because Seal Plus is just as strong as our tearing tape. So I'll just put that right about there, I guess. And then this will pop with dimensionals. So let's grab some of those. Okay like so and pull these up and then pop that in the middle <clears throat> so we get a little bit of exposure all around somewhere about there and then we just get to stick these on now before we stick them on we're going to do the step up version which is peel this off along the back and turn it into a sticker. So this is where I need my take your pick tool again and get some of that, the rest of that sticker off. Okay, it's nice and sticky everywhere. Oh, this side just doesn't feel like the paper is off. Maybe it is, hang on. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna add this directly on there. And it's very fine, so it can move quite a bit, like so. So you can position it wherever you like, because it's very flexible. And lift this guy up a bit more and slide him over a bit. And there you go. So now we went from a single layer to a double layer. Just like that. Oh, see, there is paper on there. Because <clears throat> if there wasn't, then this would be sticking. There it is. Got it. Got it. Gotcha. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So let's peel this back. Uh oh, broke it again somewhere. Oh, there it is. Found it. Peel that off. And then add that layer onto here. So this is that beautiful copper foil that is in the new mini. And just this little touch just adds a little bit of fun bling to the card. Okay, so let's take a look. There you go so pretty okay so we probably can just cut these ends off so i'm going to bring in my sticky scissors see now they're all covered in glue and cut that off because we're not going to need those tails there we go and now we can just stick these on 
So I stuck mine there. This one goes here underneath. And we're just gonna use regular adhesive. Nothing fancy, just regular adhesive. Again, oops, am I going not so over here? Maybe it's because I'm too far to the side. And then we'll stick that one right about there. And that one's peeking through like so. And, oh, there he is. I'm like, where did Cherry Cobbler go? Right there. And depending where we want this, which will go right about there, this one will peek through right about there. Coolio, very nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, you could just leave it like this and just stick this on. But I felt like it was too much white on white, which is why I added some linen thread. Like the veins on the leaves. Thanks, I know, right? I think that's like my favorite part of this whole bundle. Well, besides the big maple. Like that, you could just, I mean, look at all the fun we had with it last week. Okay, so we're just going to spool this around three, four, five times. Whatever your heart desires. There's no right or wrong. Just whatever. You just want to get a circle. And you can adjust your circle as much as you want. Because I just want something in there like so and oh i missed that's gonna go over quite a bit there we go there's my mess and then i'm just gonna use dimensionals to just pop that up a bit so that it has a little bit of lift going on there so we have two layers of dimensionals but you should be okay not to worry. Oh, we got the tail sticking out, so we'll just add that in. And we'll pop that right about there. Ta-da! So here's the regular, or au natural, and the step up version of that card. So there you go, with a little bit of designer series. Now, if you don't have this designer series paper, no biggie, you could just use cardstock. And you can even emboss your cardstock if you wanted to instead. But there, I don't know why, but this bundle requires you to always want to. Well, it doesn't require, but it will tempt you to always put all your leaves together in a bundle. Okay, so that's card number one. So let's clean up a little bit. And like I said, I don't know if I'll have time for card number three. But I will show you a couple tricks with it so that way you don't... You can still create it yourself. Super, super simple. Okay. Card number two was and is hiding somewhere. Another simple, nice little card. So again, it just uses a small strip of the designer series paper. So here it is right here and it has trees on the other side. So I just use a little strip, but it uses this beautiful copper ribbon. And that was what I really, really wanted to get out of this card. So, and we can change the sentiment in that to anything that we actually want. So we need, I think I used, um, I used vanilla on this one. Very vanilla. So... Should be the right size yep so here's my very vanilla i use another one on the inside oh yes and then i use a second one on the inside um so what i did here on the inside was i stamped it and then again i took a green and just used the vein on the inside so you could do that as well just to give it a little bit of oomph and then if you wanted to you could also decorate the card but you'll also notice here I did some embossing again on the background. So it's the same embossing folder I think we used last week or the week before. So, which is the leaves because it's fall. So you just have to use it. So, um, again, that just steps up the card a bit. You don't have to. You could just leave it plain. Maybe, would you, you know what? Maybe I will do that. I'll leave it plain just so you can see the difference. So then we have the kind of stepped up version there. So all I did was figure out where I wanna put my strip. 
And this strip, I think, is... Let me see here. Oh, it's only 5 8 inch wide. So you could do half inch or 3 quarter inch or even really a full inch if you wanted to. You're waiting for the ribbon. Oh, you got the ribbon too? It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we're just going to put some designer. Uh, designer. So we're just going to add some seal plus to the back here. So I can make it stick. So then we'll see the difference and we'll see whether or not you can notice. Well, you'll be able to notice the difference, but it is there. Okay, so I like to use the grid lines just to make sure I'm straight. So, yeah, pretty good. And then we're just going to cut off that excess. Just dropped a bunch of things on the floor. There we go. There's our excess. We're definitely not gonna keep that little strip. It's just not worth it. Okay, so now we need a few little pieces and there's that vein again. So I use that vein in there just to add a little bit of oomph. And then this one, I use pumpkin pie and old olive. So we'll grab some scrap white again. And, or you could use vanilla. Maybe we should use vanilla just to be consistent. I should have some scrap. Nope. Let me see. Very vanilla thick. Um, very vanilla. Here we go. So we'll grab a strip of very vanilla. I'm just gonna cut us a strip over here to the side. And that way we're a little consistent rather than the white. See if that makes a big difference or not. Okay, so we need, oh yeah, the stamps. So again, we need that big one. See, I told you we're gonna use this guy a lot. I should have just left them on the blocks, right? That would have been smarter. Try and pick that guy up so he fits it. And the other one. Ta -da! Okay, and then we'll need a sentiment on there. So let's get this done. We need, um, what did I say? Oh yeah, pumpkin pie and old olive. Okay, so old olive for the little guy. And I think I stamped on, stamped off. Maybe. Let's see. I might have not. Oh yeah, see, I didn't. Okay, so it's a lot lighter on second generation. And there's the first, so I didn't. Excellent. And then I'm gonna grab my pumpkin pie. Old school stamp set. In, I mean, ink pad, I should say. Works just fine though. And ink that up. And I think I used second on this one, but there's first, yep, and there is second. Let's see. Oh yeah, I used second on that one. For sure, although look how bright that is. That's kind of pretty. I don't know, I might want to use that. I kind of like that bright one, but then it doesn't really make the Cajun curry stand out very good, does it? Okay, so I should have a scrap piece sitting here. Nope. I do not. I'm going to move these away, out of my way. And you got a scrap piece of Cajun craze so we can fussy, or um, not fussy cut, um, die cut all of that at once. And then we're good to go. And then we need a couple pieces of garden green, which I should have prepped as well and did not. How is that possible? I think I just don't remember. <laughs> I just don't remember where I put it. Okay, so we have um, 
this one and the big one because I used the big one on the inside, remember? So then we have the two, right? So we'll just stick those on, reuse. Did you reuse, reuse, and we'll cut this guy off. Okay, so does any of you have this bundle yet? I know if you're a demonstrator, you probably would have pre-ordered it, I'm assuming, but that's just a big assumption. Um, and if you don't have it yet and you're, you're not a demonstrator, you're more than welcome to order it for me. Just comment in below and I'll gladly help you place your order or do it for you. Just want to make life easy. Um, and that way you don't have to do all the work. So we got that. And then we need this big die again for this one. And I'm gonna rip up some more masking tape that I don't need anymore. So I use it over and over again. And it's just not needed. And then we're gonna take that guy. Because I like that one better than the really, really light one. Although that's pretty too. So I might keep that one for a sec, another card. <laughs> okay, so we'll just put that on there. So I'm just gonna cut these out. I wanna save that one. And maybe, maybe not save that one. Don't know yet. And I'll cut this one out. I have so many pre-cut leaves. It's crazy. <laughs> you know, I just keep cutting and cutting and looking at different colors. And you just keep going and you're like, oh. The next thing you know, they have this big pile. Which is not a bad thing. But then you use them all in the cards you actually wanted. And then, like, like these ones, right? They're just going to go in my pile. <laughs> and then you're... You're like, okay, now I got lots of scrap to make with. Okay, I'm just moving you out of the way again. Because we gotta get the big guy in. And I don't know what I'm doing for a third card. So much easier to do, and especially if you're doing it while you're watching TV. Is that what you like to do? Does anybody do that? Do you do like a lot of your die cutting while you're um, watching television? You know, maybe you're watching Netflix or something or, you know, something like that. I know I do. I, I end up binging on different series. Actually, I'm out of a series right now. So if anybody has any suggestions on what to watch on Netflix or Prime, um, what's the other one? I know I have Disney as well because of the kids. But, um, you know, Disney, I once you watch one, you kind of just don't watch anything else. I, I, there's not a really a series on there I like or I've seen that looks interesting. So if anybody knows, do please share. Because I'm always looking for something while I craft. Okay. So I think we're good. So now it's assemble time. But we're gonna put our sentiment first, and um, I'm thinking we use with a grateful heart or I'm thankful. Which one? Which one would you prefer? With a grateful heart or I'm thankful? Because you know, I don't I don't keep this card, it goes to you. So while you decide that, I'm just gonna do some placement and let me know which sentiment you would like to see. And make sure I know where my sentiment's gonna go. Put that one there. Excellent. And then this one can go right about there. We'll just tilt that a bit more. Because that's where our ribbon's gonna go. So while I wait, so it's either I'm thankful or with a grateful heart. And in the meantime, I'll just we'll tie our ribbon. So this is a metallic ribbon, so it, it bends quite easily and flexes quite easily. Um, I seem to always use way too much ribbon, which is why I don't like to cut it off, because I can't seem to 
get it tight enough because it's really slippery. So I end up playing with it quite a bit and probably wasting more than I should. But I got fat fingers and I'm too lazy to pull out my easy bow tie um, for something, a bow this small. Although it would make more sense because it is a small, small bow and a lot easier to work with. So um, I know the comments are lagging because my computer is really slow. So we'll just wait a minute or two. Well, not that long. I'm thankful, whichever. So I haven't seen it yet. Uh, no, don't want to do that. And I think we're good to go. So we're just gonna cut another piece for the inside. Let me see here. So we got our bow and just gonna cut a piece for inside the cardstock. So we're gonna go five and a quarter by four. There we go. I do like van very vanilla with Cajun Craze. It's such a nicer color combo. Cause then we got this nice big vein and then we're gonna take our garden green which I had sitting here. Oh, no, oh, that one's old. Oh, we can do old olive. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, it's here somewhere. <laughs> okay. So we'll take that and we're gonna do this, um, second generation again. So we're gonna clean this first because it's got orange all over it. Yep, yep. Excellent. Whew, that's juicy. So we're gonna stamp off, oh, look at that. See how juicy that is? Wow, wowzers. And we're gonna, oh, maybe right about there. And there we go, Woo that's juicy. So go like so, oh, you know what? I forgot to use the sticker. So here's where things get really painful. But at least we have our mat. So we're gonna get that silicone mat out and we're gonna use our fine tip glue, which works fantastic. So if you don't have cling adhesives, I hope you have one of these beautiful fine tip um, dispensers, which you can get bulk. But if you come to my retreat, you can always purchase them there for like a buck. They're always nice and handy to have. When you're doing these little intricate things and you forget to use your cling adhesive sheets. And then we're just gonna line that up. Like so. And of course, as always, cut off the excess. So we got a lot of excess there. Oopsies. I should have waited till it was stuck on there a little longer. Too quick, Nemi, too quick. I'm too quick. Too slick. <laughs> okay, so pushy, 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 pushy. Okay, so I have no comments that have come through and I'm sure you wrote it. It's just my computer is not allowing the comments to come through. So we're just gonna assemble and I'm gonna jump the gun and use, um, uh, I'm thankful. So, cause that's what gratitude is all about right now. Since it's that gratitude time, I think we can use, I am grateful. So we'll just grab whatever block I have handy, which is this nice big H one. And then we're going to grab our Cajun craze. And ink that up. Oops, make sure I don't push into it. I can go sideways because I can't get my head in there. So I'm gonna make sure I go straight as much as possible. Just a little trick I like to do when things are vertical, I go sideways. And whoa, that's juicy. 
So we're gonna make sure we don't touch that. And now all we have to do is put this all together. Some assembly required. Okay, so we're just gonna use our seal plus again. Keeping it simple. And then we're gonna add this guy in. So, a little bit of glue. Doesn't matter, so you notice I put that on top. It doesn't matter because this is sitting right on top. And this is just gonna cover it anyway. So, oops. Okay, you wanna come hang with me? So be it. So I'm just gonna tilt that one a bit more. Put that one there. Yep, he needs to move a bit. There. Much better. Okay, and we use dimensionals for this one. Oh yeah, they fell on the floor. I forgot I dropped them. Okay, so we'll add that there, up top. Three should be good. And then position that like so. And then put our little guy here. So I'm gonna, just gonna use a glue dot for this one. Cause we're gonna add our ribbon right on top. Put him right in the center. And then our bow, again, another mini glue dot. And then add that right in the middle. Ta-da! There we go. So we're gonna add some dimensionals. So this has, this is one of the new ones, Blooming Pearls. And it has the gold, pretty peacock the green and um some bubble bath i forget what the green color is so we're just gonna add a few in there to just give it a little more zing because i feel like it needs zing because we have pretty peacock garden green and old olive so we could use pretty peacock but i'm gonna use this one instead so I'm gonna add one there and then add another one we will put a big one because, I mean, you really don't need it with all of this on there already anyways. But just that little extra touch. And maybe way up there. Just to give it a little lift. Okay, now we're ready for our card base. Which was over here. And I didn't score it. So let me score that. Now, I would manually score that. But I'm terrible at that. Every time I try and do it, I end up getting really bad crease lines. And it's awful. Anyway, so we're gonna just use our tools because that's what makes it look professional and pretty, not me. Okay, so that's done. So you can see there's the one with the leaves um, embossed underneath and here is plain. So here I stepped it up there, this one I didn't. So not too sure which one you like better or if you think it makes a difference. But when you got the tools, you might as well use the tools, right? I'm all crooked, sorry about that. So four and a quarter, card base. And that's it for our cards. And then we're gonna get some glue. Don't know where I put my seal plus, so I'll just grab some liquid glue into the edges. And then I like to put my initial in the middle to give a little bit of love. And then add that in there. There we go. Push in the middle. There's the front. And then we just need to put the inside panel. And then if you want, I would add that little touch on the envelope and stamp it as well so that it has a coordinating envelope. So when it goes to whomever is receiving it, they'll know, oh, I know what that is, a homemade card. And there you go. So there is our second one. So this one has it embossed, so it's stepped up, and this one is plain on the front. So what do you think? They're both pretty, excellent. 
doesn't help, but they're both pretty. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a quick check of the time here. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Right? So I don't believe, oh yeah, I'm over. It's 8.07. I always like to just stay for an hour because I don't want it to suck up most of your time. Even though I know if you watch it on replay, you can just fast forward. So again, these are the um, six colors that coordinate. I think the only color we didn't use was balmy blue. So those are the two cards. And then here it is again with the stepped up version and the plain version. So the third card that I created, and it was actually shown in the background of my Facebook post reminder today, is this one. So you remember how I showed you it had this funky strip on here? It has these two. Well, that's what this line is. So I did three lines going at an angle and then using the same dies, I die cut those leaves out that come in here, right? Those ones and those. And then using the two sentiment labels, I just layered them together and then threw in some dimensionals. So it's quite simple. I didn't know if I really liked this one or not. Um, I wanted the um, leaves to look like they were falling. So I don't know if I've successfully done that on this card. So um, I layered it with Pretty Peacock underneath to match the Pretty Peacock in the copper foil paper here. And obviously use the copper metallic to add a little bit of touch. So that's like my one, two, three, one, two, three, and then my one. So there's your odds. So if you want to make it, try it i did have to use my t ruler to make sure i was straight because i really suck at not doing anything straight so that was the third card that i was hoping to have done but just did not have enough time but if you would like to see me make that card and give show you how to do it then just comment below and i'll come back and share that one with you um later on this weekend okay so that's it that's a wrap thank you for joining me I hope you have a great weekend and um, and get some crafting done because it is time to kickstart and get ready for the holiday and fall season. So thanks again. Happy stamping and we'll see you next week for a um, uh, Christmas series of three cards um, using the same designer series paper. Have a great night.